You're watching UNICEF Television. With the recent post-election violence in Côte d'Ivoire, hundreds of thousands of people had to flee their homes. In Douekwe, in the west of the country, many have found shelter in the Catholic mission. Today, the place is overcrowded, with more than 28,000 people who have come here to get away from the ongoing violence. Most of them are still afraid to go back home. We absolutely don't force anyone to go out because we don't know the conditions in which they'd leave, where they would go and how they would live. But for those who want to leave, we do our best to accompany them. Among the displaced, Beatrice has lost her husband in the violence. She now lives alone in the camp with her nine children. If we're lucky, we have someone who comes by and gives their condolences and gives us a little money so that my children can eat. Most of the time, we live here on the floor mat. We try and make a living, but we have nothing to eat. In the camp, more than 2,500 children are in need of assistance. UNICEF's partner, Action Contre la Faim, monitors those children's health and brings them a portion of nutritional porridge every day. It's unfortunately not enough. We would like to complete this porridge portion with some fruits, but with the situation here, we can't find any in the city market. We'd like to give children more for their well-being. In the Dwekwe camp, UNICEF works hard to ensure high hygiene standards are met, cleaning hands with chlorine after the toilets and providing clean water to the displaced. In the town of Danane, 150 kilometers north of Dwekwe, UNICEF and its partners have built latrines and provide clean and drinkable water thanks to two 5,000 liters bladders. But UNICEF is well aware that most people who fled the combat are not in camp, but in remote villages throughout the region. To meet the needs of those people, UNICEF and ACF is bringing support right where it's the most needed. In Ligaleu, very close to the Liberian border, the displaced villagers have recently returned to find their houses almost completely empty. Moreover, tens of people from neighboring villages have taken shelter with them. To help families that have lost everything, ACF brings hygiene kits right to their doorsteps and spread information on good hygiene practices. There was a sanitation issue prior to the crisis in those villages. The increase of the population exacerbates those issues. We won't be able to mend the water pumps, so we must make sure they get what they need to clean the water. Even though the crisis in Côte d'Ivoire is over, many people are still hiding in the bush, making them very hard to reach for humanitarian organizations. This is Edward Bally, reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.